Hey everyone, this is Pastor Coates. I want to welcome you back again today to another Money Talk lesson. We're currently, we're in the series, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is a lesson number 16 in the current series, which is Kingdom Wealth Management. I'm really excited about a new topic today, and I can't wait to get into it with you. We previously were doing the topic about Kingdom Prosperity. We talked about that prosperity, the way you increase the wealth that you're going to manage, how you receive, how you uh, obtain more. Kingdom wealth is proportioned to many things in your life, including your attitude, your vision, your seed, etc. So today I'm going to take that to this thought, and we're going to talk into the future about the 12 things that the Bible says about wealth, okay? 12 things the Bible says about wealth. Here's number one. Today, listen to this. The gold standard was initiated by God. Now, I know that we originally think the gold standard was made up by man. I mean, it's probably Wall Street, the Rockefellers. We've heard the stories of Fort Knox. I've always heard that Fort Knox is the most highly protected place in the world because of all the gold. And I actually looked up that second only to the secret archives of the Vatican. (laughs) But if gold is so valuable, what? Did that value come from? Did man just determine the value of gold? The answer is no, God did. God established the gold standard. Genesis chapter 2, verses 11, uh, 10, 11, and 12 say this A river flowed out of Eden to water the garden, and there it divided and became four rivers. The name of the first is the Pishon. It is the one that flowed around the whole land of Havilah where the gold is and the gold is good. Now I want you to get that. God said, I'm going to tell you where the good things are. If you go down to the land of Havilah, the river Pishon down there, if you take a right turn, it'll lead you to the gold and the gold is good. Somebody said that's the biggest understatement since Noah said it looks like rain. (laughs) The gold is good. Uh, I like to think that when God created um, Adam and then he created Eve and he brought Eve to Adam, he must have been overwhelmed because, you know, God created everything that's good. He created the sun, the moon, the stars. He created everything. He said it is good. The morning and the evening of the first day, it's good. The morning and the evening of the second day. And God said it's good. On the day that God created Eve and brought her to Adam and God said it is good, I think Adam probably said, no, this isn't just good. This is great. (laughs) I mean, you have to do your Tony the Tiger imitation there. But in that sense, when God says the gold is good, he was putting his validation, his standard on the gold. Now, I know that's a contrast, huge contrast to traditional, even religious thinking about the value of gold. It's, it's dirty old money. It's filthy, rotten lucre. It's, it's mammon. And uh, people often quote Luke 16, 13, no one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other. No man can serve both God and mammon. Well, that is true. But in making that statement, God certainly was not despising the value of money, the value of gold. God knew that the fall would happen. And God knew that people would need an exchange of currency to use on the earth. So he established the gold standard. We thought it was politicians. We thought it was the Wall Street tycoons. Actually, it was God. All the way through the Bible, gold is pictured as a good thing. And God never despises the value of the gold standard. Let me just give you one scripture and then I'll close. Psalm 19 verses 8 through 10 say, The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, even much fine gold, and even the honey of the honeycomb. 
So when God was trying to describe, or the psalmist was trying to describe the virtues of God, the greatest things in the earth, the heart of God, the virtues of God, the precepts of God, when he's trying to describe how great God's virtues are, he thinks of the most valuable thing that he can think of on the earth, which is gold. And he's not despising the value of gold, but he's validating its value by then saying, even that which is the most valuable thing on the earth does not compare with the precepts and the virtues of God. So we're going to be talking about the 12 things that God says about wealth in the Bible. And we're starting with that today. God initiated the gold standard.